What is up guys? Today I have for you another unboxing. This was part of the JC Wings April May releases. I pre-ordered this. If you watch my other videos, uh, yeah, I said I pre-ordered it from uh, Jetway Models. Um, it, they shipped it out on June 9, arrived here June 17, New Zealand time. And um, yeah, I'm very happy to have this model. The um, reason I got this one instead of the One World with the um, with Giles, you know, normal red on it um, is because I'm not, I'm not, um, I don't want, I don't like aircraft with their alliance on them. Um, the only exceptions would probably be United and British Airways, but yeah, nobody else. And I, I quite like this one as well. So I'll show you in the box. Starting up here, we have, you can see all the animals, like elephants, um, flamingos, kangaroo, camels, uh, and there's people in the middle. Uh, this is all part of their new Sky Eco, Sky Eco. this is what um, this aircraft uh, was painted in the special livery for. It's, it's to raise awareness uh, about their environment, um, and it's also their contribution to uh, being more efficient and cutting down emissions um, on their planes. So, um, yeah. And you can see they support UNICEF. I'm sure you know what UNICEF means. I mean, if you don't, it's uh, it stands for United Nations International Children's... Um, wow, okay, I've forgotten the E. Um, children's... Wow, okay, this is bad. Um, I'll get back to that. Okay, I got someone ringing. I'm just gonna stop here and get back to you. Yeah, I'm sorry about the cut in the video, guys. That was just a phone call. Anyway, continuing. Um, just looking around the box here. Nothing there, just like warning stuff. Uh, general, this is a general box, uh, JC Wings box. So, yeah. And there we go. That size is the same as well. And uh, we'll open this up. Can't wait for this uh, to have a look at this model. Oh, that's right. Um, UNICEF is stands for. And I did not look this up while I was gone, um, I just remembered it now, uh, and it is United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund, there we go, and do you see the, the foam that they, they're using, it's much better than the polystyrene. And then, um, well, actually I'll show you inside the box, uh, there's the model, and here we have the gears put on um, or the gear doors um, I like having the gears on um, just because they look better and there are the, mag the magnetic as well so the uh, flat sides of these they um, they uh, they're attracted to the metal uh, on the model and um, I'm just going to do this all in one video here's the uh, custom stand I like JC Wing stands. Gel Boeing 777-300ER, scale 1200. I'll just take the model out. And I'm gonna put the gears on now. I'm not gonna work, I'm just gonna leave the, um, the uh, gear doors in the box. Don't need to take them out, I'm not using them. I'll just show you quickly what the model looks like without the gears on first. There you go, see? Looks pretty cool. But uh, I do prefer them on. And that's what I'm going to do now. So we've got the nose gear. Which just goes 
in there like that. And then, what's this one? This is the right main gear and then the left main gear, just in there like that. Okay. I'll just close all this up, set it up for you guys. Okay, it's done nice and quick. Bring this down, and here we go. As you can see here, we have the cockpit, window wipers, nicely detailed cockpit, and then we have pedo tubes there. Then we have the nose gear with part of the registration 731. And we have the first um, cabin door with the Japanese flag and the very, very tiny One World logo. Okay, that's not going to focus. But as you can see, it just says One World there and all the markings on the doors. Very nice. Um, JAL titles, these are the old JAL titles. And then we have the logo for their. Um, I'm not sure what it's for, if it's part of the Sky Eco, I don't think it is because Sky Eco has got their own logo, uh, I mean they've created uh, their own logo for Sky Eco, so this might be something to do with um, the UNICEF um, support, and then we have some Japanese writing, I could translate it, I did Japanese at school, I just don't remember too much of it, so I really don't know what it means, um, and then if you look here in the corner of the wing we have that little grey or black uh, egg shaped thing, that's the headlight, um, main light for landing. I'll show you the engines, these are massive. Um, I love the I love the 777, love the engines, they're the best in the world. These are the um, GE 9115B engines. And they, yeah, they, they, it looks like they've gotten even better and so they're turning very, very easily. Even if I blow into it. I don't even need to blow into it hard and it spins. It's really, really, really good. And here we have the end of the rake, raked wingtip. You can see that green, uh, the red dot right there, that's the navigation light. And then we have the end of it this, with this little bit on the end, this little flat bit. And there's a better look at the engines. Look at those massive things. And then we come back onto the fuselage. We have the Sky Eco logo. See, it's the um, what it actually is is a green origami plane, just symbolising um, reducing environmental impact and yeah, just just cutting down on on um, on fuel consumption and yeah, all those kind of things. And that, that's what the triple seven does in a way. It um. It has 20% less fuel consumption than Simple 7, and I mean, it's it's wonderful piece of engineering. And then we have, well, maybe it's not part of that, this uh, stuff at the front. Maybe it's not part of the UNICEF, because there is a, sorry if it's not focused yet, because uh, there is a UNICEF logo here. Uh, we support UNICEF. And there's, that says, what does it say? Currently read it. Oops, okay. Wing just knocked the camera. Okay, I don't know what that says. It's, it's not properly printed on there. Then we have Boeing 777. And then we have the registration JA731J or uh, Juliet Alpha 731 Juliet. And then we have... Uh, zoom out. Then we have the tail um, with the JAL logo. It's not quite the JAL logo, because it's green, you know, you know, uh, JAL or Japan Airlines is red. Um, this is just for Sky Eco. And we have the beautifully finished APU. And then we'll uh, go to the front of the aircraft on this side. Then we have cockpit windows, window wipers, registration on the nose gear uh, doors, and then the uh, nose gear itself, and then the 
Japanese flag and the uh, cabin door. As you can see on this side, you notice the, uh, there is no uh, um, One World logo. They, don't, they only have it on the left side of the, left side of the aircraft. Then we have uh, a, lot, a lot of markings on the side. There's some um, big door here that's uh, for cargo. And then we have this logo here. Um, I can tell one logo, this this 3M here, that's, uh, they make um, tape, sticky tape, and well, industrial sticky tape. And then we have the massive GE 9115B engines. There's the headlight for landing, the landing lights. And then, right, right there, the green, green dot on the right, on the end of the right wing tips. Um, it's not focusing on the wingtip for some reason, and uh, that's the navigation light. Uh, we have the Sky Eco logo with the green origami plane. Our registration, all the other who they support and uh, funding and all that kind of stuff. Um, logo, and uh, as that for the uh, for the um, detail on the sides of the aircraft. Now I'll just show you the top. Same at the front, we have beacon light, antenna right there, then we have these two black dots, still not sure, sure what they are. You can see the air deflectors on the engines right there, and then here we have the raked wingtip. To me, to me these are the um, best wings on any plane, and then we have um, black strips. Probably just for, uh, well, they're just markings. I'm not completely sure what they're for. Um, then there's uh, this walkway thing that's uh, the emergency um, wing exit. And then we have the registration, and then the uh, the red dot. That's the um, and the red wing tip. The red dot is the. It's on the Japanese flag. It represents land of the rising sun. And this uh, bump here, you can see so. Yeah, there you can see it's raised. Um, that's uh, just for Wi-Fi, for internet, for all the passengers. And then we have two more antennas down the back. And uh, markings on the horizontal stabilizers. And uh, right, those two grey dots there. And those two there. They're, they illuminate the tail at night, whether it's flying or it's at the airport, whatever. And on the bottom of the aircraft. We have nose gear and gear doors, and then we have the um, the grey belly, and the red beacon light, and stand holder, or hole for where the stand goes, I should say, uh, main landing gear, um, the main landing gear doors, nicely uh, finished, um, and then we have the wing. And then this side wing with the registration. We have an antenna right here in between the gear doors. Uh, an antenna right here. Another one right here doesn't really stick out. And uh, that's it. Oh, this here, uh, which is the first I've seen. It's really good. Uh, I had it on my 727 model. This little raised bit underneath. That's um, when tail strike happens on takeoff landing when the plane. Um, Nose lifts too high and the wheels are still on the ground. Uh, the main wheels are still on the ground. It will, will well, not necessarily, but yeah, it will um, scratch, scrape that instead of um, uh, ruining the fuselage. And uh, put on the stand to show you guys. And there we go. See that? Uh, actually, what I no, I'll take. See, I oh, see this blue film. It's good. It protects the um, the metal on. The on the um the back of the holder stand holder, which is good. And uh, these are already screwed in, not like Gemini jets. So just and I uh, use pills film off. There you go. And you see this padding here just to stop stop scratching the model on these. So if uh, I accidentally if it gets scratched, um, this uh grey paint underneath won't won't come off because that will um prevent the metal scratching the paint off. And there we have it.
the uh, Jal Triple Seven Three Hundred ER in the uh, Sky Eco livery. We have the main gears. They tilt. Uh, that's uh, that. They're they're in landing landing position. Uh, that's I think that there is they're like that. Uh, come on, come on, shaking because uh, there we go. That's more like takeoff when they're um about to the gears will um fold up and to the uh, to their allocated positions. Um, let's give you a quick uh, rundown on their uh, on Japan Airlines and this aircraft. Uh, Japan Airlines um, started in 1951. They got 13 777-300ERs and uh, their main hubs are out of Haneda and Narita airports which are in Tokyo and Kansai and Itami or Itami. Uh, which are in Osaka. Very nice. I'd have to say my favourite view of the triple seven would be uh, when it's making one of those turns and it's got the wings really flexed. That's Probably my favorite shot of the triple seven. And um, yeah, this is uh, the end of the video. If you if you like the video, please like it. Um, subscribe. It helps me out. Share with your friends, your family, as many people as you can. Um, your more more reviews, likes, subscribers I get, the more content I can bring to you guys. Um, better the content, really. Um, and uh, it helps you make a decision on what models you want to get um, and I mean I highly highly recommend this model this one is basically almost gone so I mean if you want it jump in now because you probably won't get another chance um, and it's beautiful for any collector this is um, probably a well this is a really good addition so um thank you guys for watching i'm a jhd and i'll see you guys later